My friends, this is exactly what systemic racism looks like. Yeah. This is how it works. It's not individuals doing, eight, doing hor horrific acts of hatred and prejudice, but reasonable people who say our hands are tied because it's just too difficult right. to make room. It's just too costly to change our system for those who are systemically, methodically left out of our fair economy. Earn sick and save time is a reasonable policy. It makes it possible for all families to care for each other, to simply be there to offer help and support when people are sick. This is what systemic racism looks like. Right. Bemoaning the cost to businesses while ignoring the burden and the cost that is already being paid all the time yeah. by people of color. Right. Yeah. Minneapolis, we are better than that. We're here today because working families need to be able to take off when they're sick or when their loved ones are sick and not be threatened to lose their jobs. This is a very basic right. It is a health issue. This is an issue impact everyone and I mean everyone across the board but disproportionately it impacts people of color over 50% of African Americans do not have access to pay time off when they or their loved ones are sick two-thirds of Latino workers do not have access to pay time off when they or their children are sick is there a problem? Yes. I've read things recently, and I've heard some stuff recently that said we don't have a problem in Minneapolis or St. Paul or Minnesota. But I beg to differ. That's we do have a problem. <laughs> Moses was in Pharaoh's palace. Yeah. And he looked out the window one day, and he saw his people working in the brickyard. Yeah. Not only were they just working, but they was tremendously working and sweating. And they had no days off. Moses said, we have a problem. Yeah. Right. And something got to happen. Yeah. And Moses came back and led the children of Israel out of bondage because there was a problem. Yeah. And I look at people every day who are suffering, who are trying to decide whether to buy medicine or to buy grocery. And we're going to make a difference. We're going to go forth. We're not going to stop until something got to happen. I sound like Moses. Right. Something got to happen. I Sickness and disease are not reasons to forbid compensation. That's right. That's right. Equitably, for reasons beyond one's control, should never be the grounds to withhold pay from anyone. That's right. It is a person's right to seek good health when challenged. Yeah. yeah. This is about safety for kids. This is about protection for kids. This is not about people who want to malinger. This is about people who want to put food on the table, make sure their children are safe, healed up, back in school. We want to see this happen so that my hardworking family people can continue to grow, contribute to the common good in the twin cities and be genuinely supportive of their families and their workplaces. Thanks for the yeah. Work Together College. And with the support of the Union for Reform Judaism, who's more than one million members, voted in support of paid sick leave back in 2013. Paid sick leave is a great moral issue of our generation. Indeed, the commandment to care for the sick and to not lose one's wages because one is sick is a matter of basic decency found in every religious system for the past 3,000 years. You too, city council members. Mm. So today we invite you, exercise your moral courage. We're here for the representing those, those people who cannot speak for themselves. Is this gonna happen? That's our prayer. You know, notice what I said, that first of all, Moses tried to do it by himself. But then when he got, got the order from God, it had to happen. So we feel like we've got our order from God. It's, it's gotta happen, it must happen. I believe that America, especially Minneapolis, needs to be more aware of the suffering among poor people and those that are making, trying to make an honest wage and yet their rights are being taken away because they're sick or have other issues that requires them to stay home. We have a lot of single working parents who don't have anyone taking care of their children and their work schedule is so hectic and busy, they're trying to work and yet there's very little understanding and compassion for these working mothers. Right, of course, the business keeps saying we can't afford this. Oh, they can. 
Oh, yes, they can. Yes, they can. If you got a good, hard-working person, you ought to be able to afford it. The council member right, get your council member award one. Please stand over here. Uh, if your church is represented by Cam Gordon, that includes you, Pastor Curtis. Excuse me, here, please.